morning, everyone. It is March 16th, 2020. I am tired. No matter how many times I try to get up early, it never gets easier. Ugh, fuck. But it's all good. We're just gonna get up. Go get caffeinated. Come back to life. Rainbow 3D is the best 3D. No question, no contest. I want to drink this right this second, but really quick, we need to check the weight this morning, so let's get that over with. on the dot wow um honestly i was not expecting that at all like damn uh i mean obviously it's not exactly where i want to be but i'll definitely take it like i haven't really been down that low in a minute so that's good right mm -hmm. some progress is better than no progress right so we'll celebrate with a rainbow 3d how about that so i can Oh. Be revived. Mm. Oh. Mm, caffeine. Oh. Courses through my body. <clears throat> well, that's a sign of it working, right? <laughs> so, man, it has been a minute. Mmm. Well, now that I have some caffeine in my system, I better get dressed, take a shower. Man, I'm disgusting, probably. I look terrible. And, uh, you know, freshen up a little bit before I catch up with you guys in a second here. So, let me go ahead and do that. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so, I am dressed. I am smelling good, feeling clean, and... I got something to eat because I was fucking starving. Just like recently, like I've been waking up and like I'm good for like the first 10, 15 minutes, but then I just get so hungry, like holy shit. So, where have I been? So, uh, yeah, I feel like I check in once a month and I've been very inconsistent, obviously. Also, clearly I'm in the exact same position I was when I last checked in, which is still fat. Uh, I feel like I'm one of these weight loss channels that is just going to not lose any weight and hopefully not gain weight, but uh, good thing is I have not gone backwards that much, okay? My lowest was 207, I'm at 220, but I've kind of been at 220 for a while now, so at least I haven't backslid to the point where I'm mega obese like I used to be, just, you know, regular obese, uh, but... I don't know. I had such a good day yesterday, and I'm just feeling good today. Uh, and hopefully things are coming back on track. So I'm going to sort of ride this momentum, uh, and hopefully the progress will be made. It's not like I'm not motivated to make progress, but it's just like, well, you know what? I'm not going to waste any time with excuses or with stories of where I was or where I've been because it's not really relevant, number one, and number two, they haven't really changed since the last time. So, yeah, it just seems like a vicious cycle, and I don't need to repeat myself every single time. So, what I do want to do right now, even though I did have a first meal and I kind of wanted to do this fasted, but it's not that big of a deal, especially at my size, <clears throat> is I wanted to get a f initial physique shot so that you guys can sort of see where I'm starting from 
and you know compare it to where I end up, which hopefully is somewhere good. So let's go ahead and take that initial physique, uh, which means I have to take my clothes off again. So uh, I do apologize for that. I'm also going to go ahead and ah, open the blinds, get some light in here. I would use my actual light fixture, but only one bulb is working and the rest are out. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down, strip, and uh, just we'll, we'll see how things end up. Huh? I got this tripod here. I can just set you guys down on this tripod. Just got to figure out. That's a good angle here. Okay. Hopefully this is a good angle. Just take my shirt off. Yes. I'm not gonna take these off. Let's slide these down. Okay, so initial physique, as you can see, very fat. Got a lot of fat around the stomach, and especially the love handle area, which is definitely the, like the worst place I could have it is this sort of section right here. Love handles into big thighs and just Makes me look stupid feminine. Uh, and I got a lot of chest fat. You can see from the side here, maybe a bit better. Lots and lots of chest fat. Um, I'm suspecting loose skin to be the majority of this area. Definitely gonna be some down here. Um, don't know how much to an extent. Turn around, here's the back. Like I said, love handle. Lots and lots of love handle. Um, you know, here's the side without the scar. This is just a normal side. The other side's all scarred up. But yeah, stretch marks. I don't know if it'll come out, not even in the center. I don't know if it'll come out in the thing, but I've got all kinds of stretch marks right here. All kinds of loose skin right here. I mean, it doesn't feel like loose, loose because there's fat in there. But I feel like this is going to be, I don't have lots of loose skin. So... Yeah, and then legs. Um, I'm gonna flex my quad here. I used to have a bit more definition, but that's gone. Yeah, lots of thigh fat, as you can see. Jiggly. And yeah, this is what I look like. Um, I guess I still got some nice separation up here. I mean, I say separation, but Really, it just means that you can actually see, like maybe the specific has a delt, some 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 of it, and the trap. And I don't store a lot of fat in my arm. There's some fat right here. This is gonna be loose skin, I think. Maybe. Obviously, we'll only know when we finally lose everything. But yeah, this is what I look like. Actually, I'm gonna take this opportunity now to put. Uh, a gym shirt on because I'm going to go to the gym. So, give me a second. So, <laughs> how's it going? Um, that's pretty much what I'm looking like right now. <sighs> Not good, obviously. Um, there's a lot of concerns that I have, uh, mostly around loose skin. Um, it would not be an ideal situation to have loose skin, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. And... You know, I'm going to reserve my final judgments for when I get down there just to see how much I have and if it's even that bad. But, you know, if I had lost the weight in the first year, I could have probably built a lot more muscle to fill in. The problem is, is that I've built a decent amount of muscle now, so I'm not too sure how much I could actually fill in. You know, because the muscle is already there. Like, I probably built maybe my first 10 to 15 pounds. And anybody who's built muscle knows that 10 to 15 pounds is a lot. And it's probably going to be like half of what you'll build in your lifetime. So I've already reached that stage, at least for certain muscle groups, definitely. So I'm really not 100% sure how much loose skin, you know, should I have some. How much of it I can actually fill in and how I'm going to feel about it. But 
you know, I could just be making a mountain out of a molehill. Tend to do that. I could not have any loose skin, or I could get there and not really care about my loose skin, you know? Uh, it's just like, you know, hard to tell. But <clears throat> we are not going to worry about that right now because the most important thing is to get there, you know? You don't want to think too many steps ahead because, you know, we want our eyes on the prize. And my first goal is to get to under 220 pounds. I hit 220 on the dot today. I want today to be the last day I am ever 220 pounds. Like, today is the final day. No more after today. So, we're going to go hit the gym. And... Uh, we're gonna make some gains. We're gonna do our cardio. And we are never coming back to 220 ever again. All right, nice. Let us assemble a pre-workout. So I got my ice water right here. The ice is all melted. So I've showed three pre-workouts on this channel. Um, the Welch's Grape, the Sonic Cherry Limeade, and the Brion Raw Lit Gummy Worm. Well, I've showed more than that, but out of the current stacks that I have, that's what I've shown. And here is another new one. It is also from Ghost. It is the Ghost Sour Patch Red Berry Flavor of Legend. First of all, what is Red Berry? Does anybody know? I'm assuming it's a combination of a bunch of red berries. You know, like cherry, strawberry, watermelon maybe like I can't ever like nail down exactly what's in there now my palate is not very sophisticated so maybe I'm just too uncultured to know what red berry is all right let's give her a shot right here <sighs> mm. yeah see I don't know what that tastes like it tastes like um Strawberry candy, maybe a little cherry, maybe a little raspberry. It reminds me a lot of like Twizzlers. Like what do Twizzlers taste like? As far as the Sour Patch Red Berry authenticity, I have to say this is pretty on the nose. The guys at Ghost, they, they tend to do good work when it comes to being authentic to the certain flavors. I don't know if it's as authentic as the Welch's Grape because that straight up tastes like Welch's Grape Juice. And that's the most like on the button flavor to flavor comparison I've ever seen or tasted. Uh, I have had Red Berry Sour Patch before and uh, it's pretty good. And this tastes pretty close, maybe even exactly. Um, so they, they really know what they're doing in terms of authenticity. The big question, how good is this flavor actually in and of itself? And I'd say it's above average, but I don't know if I would take this every day. The best flavor of Legend, hands down, is Sonic Cherry Limeade. Maybe the best pre-workout I've ever had. This Red Berry, I would say it might be my, my third favorite flavor of Legend. And I haven't had every flavor of Legend, but I would say it might be my third, maybe fourth favorite flavor of Legend. But I don't know if I put it in my top five in terms of pre-workout flavors in general. Uh, it's pretty good. Definitely like it in my rotation, but I'm not going to be like very, very sad when it's over. I'll miss it, but I could go without it. Those are my thoughts on that so far. I have tasted that the least amount out of every pre-workout that I have, so it is the newest, uh, but maybe it'll grow on me in a much better way. So, one last thing before we go, taking our creatine. Did I show the Muscle Farm creatine? I did have to get more creatine, I ended up running out. So this is the Muscle Farm creatine, it's creatine. I will say I don't like the texture of this creatine as much as the other ones. I think it's because the other ones were more micronized. And this one, the way they processed it, leaves it in more of a 
crystal kind of sugary texture versus the other one, which is a way more fine, almost like flower level of fine. And what that means is that that, you know, it feels like there's more, but it also, it goes down easier. And with this, this one actually has sort of a texture. So it's just not as good to mix in here. And even taking it straight to the face, it's just, it's just not as good of an experience, but it was cheap and it was on sale, so. Today's workout is a push workout, and it's actually the, the second push workout of the week. Uh, we are in block two. I don't know if I was in block two the last time I checked in. Three weeks or two days worth of this program left. I don't know if I have training ADHD or something, but yeah, I've been following this program for over three months, and I'm kind of ready to move on. Kind of ready to move on. But... We still gotta get through it. We're not gonna stop until it's over. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Mm. And we're gonna head to the gym. All right, see you guys. Later. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the commentary section of the video. Mentioned earlier, push day, favorite day of the week because we start off with a 4x5 on the bench press. This is 80% of my one rep max, which is 285 pounds. That puts my working weight around 228. I tend to go like heavier when the reps per set are low and the lighter end of that when the reps per set are high. So if it was like eight reps, then we go with 225, but since it's four, five reps, <laughs> going with 230, messing around with different grip widths, different foot placement. I find that for me personally, I tried a bunch of different ones. The thumb length grip from the knurling is my favorite one for my hands. It just, I feel like I can push the most of that bar, put the, you know, maximum amount of force. And with the feet, I'm still playing around. You know, sometimes I go closer, sometimes I go wider, feet out, feet in. But, you know, I'm thankful that these sets aren't super hard and I can just sort of mess around with stuff like that. Moving on to the overhead press. So this is an overhead press complex and I love this OHP complex a lot. So it's four reps strict and then four reps doing a push press. And this is so awesome. It's like a superset, but oh man, it like burns my tries for sure. Definitely kills the delts as well. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. I'd never done push presses up until running this program. This is the first time ever. And wow, I, I like them. You know, honestly, I never thought I'd like them, but I really, really like them. So can't wait for them to be a more stable in my routine. This is also 80% of my uh, overhead press one more max, which is 175 pounds. So it puts me at 140 for three sets of eight, technically. So four strict, four push press. Next up, we have a slow eccentric weighted dips, or in my case, just regular dips. I do not like these. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I actually got pretty good at weighted dips over this program, but these slow eccentrics murder me. I, there's a lot of them, and I am not a fan of slow eccentric just anything, especially these dips. Like, it's bad enough that I'm like really just not good at them, but I feel like I'm cutting my eccentrics a little short. They're supposed to be three seconds. They ended up being like two, so not ideal. Moving on to tricep V-bar press downs. I'm not too sure if V-bar means the close grip lat pull down bar or if it's this bar that I'm shaped like a V that I'm using. <laughs> but I do this one because it's more comfortable. Three sets of 12 to 15. I got two sets of 13 and one set of 14 with 80 pounds. Love the tricep press down. Probably one of my favorite tricep movements like in general. Just really nice. And then finally, we're supposed to do like lateral machine raises, but I don't have a side lateral machine in my gym, so I had to do these seated dumbbell raises. And I don't really like lateral raises in general, 
Like, I never know what is an acceptable amount of swing, what is an acceptable amount of cheating. I just, I, I don't like them. I'll be honest. Um, but we were supposed to do three sets of 15 to 20. I got two sets of 16 and one set of 17 with these 22 and a half pounds. And yeah, uh, that was a workout. I did planks after, but I didn't record them. So, see ya. All right, what's going on, everyone? I am obviously back at the crib. And uh, yeah, so obviously I am very, very rusty at recording because I've been editing my video and <laughs> there's a bunch of clips where my head's cut off. I really hope I'm in frame in this shot right here. I, I, I'm using my phone to record, so I can't, I can't see. So I just cross my fingers. Please take pity on me. This is a one-man operation. Uh, also, I've been having kind of some audio issues. Um, it's mostly due on the recording side, like when I was recording my commentary. So if it sounds kind of quiet or if things sound weird throughout this video, I really apologize. All right, I know this video is long enough, so I'm going to just address a couple of things really, really quickly before I leave. Number one, wow, I look awful like i knew i looked bad i knew i was still fat i see myself every day in the mirror so i know how bad it is but oh my god i look atrocious i look so fucking bad oh my lord i didn't realize how fat i really was until i took that until I was editing that part, you know, when I was editing the sort of physique update, right? Until I was editing that, I did not have any clue how bad it was. Like, that alone gives me motivation to keep going. Like, I can't believe, like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. I'm droopy. Like, oh, gosh, oh, oh, no. X out. We, as in me, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to take my physique, turn it into something amazing. I'm like an ugly duckling, and I will become a swan, motherfuckers. Swan gains. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just it blew my mind. God, man. Well, I mean, this sells it like, I have to do this. I have to do this. I don't want to go on like this like looking like this and it's not just like it's not like just the aesthetics of it it is a big part of it obviously but it's not just that it's you know the health stuff the the confidence the the mental aspect of it it's it's a lot of things but jesus man i did not know how bad it was until i saw myself that gave me pause I want to say, um, but I thought there was more that I had to say. I don't really think there is. Um, I'll probably go over what my diet is going to look like tomorrow just because, I mean, this video is like 25 minutes long and I need to just edit it and get it up. So yeah, I'll probably just go over that tomorrow. So this is the final clip. It's over. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Go to bed. It's like almost 12 o'clock. I can't believe how late it is. I'm going to do that. And uh, I'll see you. The proverbial you, of course. Uh, tomorrow.